troubleshooting instructions for adjusting a switching valve on the Keith Running Floor 2 drive. Most switching valves are incorrectly replaced because they are out of adjustment. Going through these troubleshooting steps will determine if your switching valve actually needs to be replaced or simply adjusted. Always adjust the switching valve as described. You will need two 9 16 open-ended wrenches. Use the ball valve to stop the drive unit. The ball valve is located toward the front of the drive unit in front of the hydraulic cylinders. Move the ball valve handle toward the center of the trailer, which allows the hydraulic oil to bypass the drive unit, stopping the system. Disengage the PTO. Loosen the 3 8 inch jam nuts located on the threaded rod on each end of the switching valve. After loosening the nuts, adjust them toward the switching valve. Doing this will throw the switching valve out of adjustment. Start the truck engine and engage the PTO. Let the clutch out slowly. Pull the ball valve toward you. The drive unit will move to the load or unload direction. The system will lock up and be under high pressure when the cylinders reach the end of the stroke. Immediately push the ball valve handle toward the center of the trailer. This will allow the hydraulic oil to bypass the system. At this point, the cylinders will be at maximum stroke. Disengage the PTO. Push the threaded rod in the direction that the cylinders are bottomed. Slide the washers and rubber grommet out toward the loop on the cross drive. Turn the 3 8 inch jam nuts out until they are tight against the washers. Then turn the first nut one extra turn. Bring the second nut up to the first nut and tighten the two together, setting the jam nuts. Engage the PTO. Move the ball valve handle slowly, causing the hydraulic cylinders to travel to the opposite direction. Let the cylinders travel until they lock up. Then push the ball valve handle to the center. Disengage the PTO. Push the threaded rod in the direction that the cylinders are bottomed. Slide the washers and rubber grommet out toward the loop on the other cross drive. Turn the 3 8 inch jam nuts out until they are tight against the washers. Then turn the first nut one extra turn. Bring the second nut up to the first nut and tighten the two together, setting the jam nuts. The switching valve adjustment is completed.